Welcome everybody to Digital Beats, where we discuss the latest in technology, news, and innovative trends in digital transformation. Today's discussion will be super interesting. We'll be talking about key technologies in next generation enterprise level databases. Let me introduce you to our guests. Uh, Dr. Li Fei Fei is vice president at the Alibaba Group. He is the president of the database products business unit of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. He is a multi award winning scientist and he leads R&D on cloud native database systems and products at Alibaba. Also joining us is Charlie Dai. He is the principal analyst serving enterprise architecture professionals at Forrester. He is a leading expert in cloud, big data, AI, IoT, blockchain, and many more. Uh, and Charlie is also an avid tech blogger with millions of readers worldwide. I think there's, um, you know, obviously there's, there's a topic that is always uh, part of a conversation whenever you're talking about data, whenever you're talking about databases, uh, is really the conversation about security and trust in databases. So I really like to talk about that. So Charlie, uh, besides uh, transmission encryption and, and, encryption and disk encryption capabilities, how else are new security and trust capabilities expanding? What is your thought on that? Yeah, thanks Milo. You know, uh, first of all, we mentioned that database security is an in internal topic that is because uh, normally decision makers often talk about it, but in practice, uh, many of them pay few attention until they encounter problems. So, but it's really critical to uh, pay attention to database security because it is at the core of the business. It's the foundation of the business platforms. It carries so much important data and become the strategic asset of any enterprise. And uh, also those kind of data will, you know, if you don't pay attention to them, it will cause economic loss, it will affect your enterprise image, or even have a very critical damage towards the industry or the social security. So in general, Forrester put database security in a very strategic position as uh, the other key trends we are already talking about. And in general, the data security contain two domains of the capabilities. One is about the full lifecycle data protection. And the other one is about the comprehensive regulatory compliance support. So uh, to achieve this, a, a wide spectrum of the capabilities will be needed. So for example, around the protection, we need the logging and the query to have to make it sure, make sure it is verifiable and also temper proof. And we need the data encryption you know, around the whole data supply chain. It's not only about database itself. We have to ensure the column encryption, table encryption, and to, to have the encrypted storage of all these sensitive data in the database. And also we have to ensure we can automatically detect the unknown databases or the unknown uh, access toward the database. And, uh, and then it's, it's related to how we can do the compliance. It's around the, the user access management with the policy-driven privilege authorization, with the application access security, as well as the role-based access control. And then we should have the database auditing features for the user privacy and access security, such as to record the database activities on the network in real time, or to perform the fine-grained auditing of the database operations and to alert the database operators of the risky behaviors, such as the uh, uh, malfunctions or some of the attack. And also we have to do the database vulnerability attacks uh, scanning to have the scanning around the SQL injection attacks and other high-risk operations. So there are, there are many different capabilities that we will need for the data security for your management in the modern area. Hey, Fei Fei, um, you know, database security is a big concern for enterprise customers, as we all know. And so how does cloud computing affect the field of database security? I think on top of what Charlie has mentioned, I think moving your data to the cloud actually will make your data safer, uh, which might sound counterintuitive to a customer who is storing all of your data 
in a local on-premise environment because you're feeling, oh, I'm moving all my data to a remote location. How can that be possibly safer than having data locally? Uh, so that idea is that if you look at any public cloud vendors, the, on a daily basis, they are facing all kinds of security threats and attacks uh, all the time. And so over time, their system has been matured uh, by battling against those uh, adversary threats over time. So collectively, a cloud vendor has witnessed more security threat, more adversary attacks than any single customer can imagine because it's combined from all those customers a cloud vendor is serving. So over the year, over the time, their systems, their infrastructure gets stronger, gets secure, much, much stronger and secure than uh, an individual customer is able to do. So in fact, moving your data to the cloud will be more secure than having your data locally on an on-premise environment. And then building on what Charlie has mentioned, and in fact, your uh, question you pointed out, Milo, uh, in addition and on top of uh, data transmission uh, encryption, data address encryption, for example, using PDE or data address encryption technologies, uh, cloud computing also allow us to explore other security uh, technologies to make your database system more secure. For example, always encrypted database systems where data is always encrypted, even during the processing and analytical uh, uh, management of those data. Uh, and also using SQL audit technologies and uh, log auditing technologies so that every single operation goes in and out of your database system is under uh, control and monitoring. And lastly, we also provide tools that allow our customers to hide or uh, hide or manipulate sensitive data and put a label or classification of security levels of different part of your data so that you can do very fine grained uh, access control of your data and enterprise level row access control models in place. So all of those work together to give our customer the most secure environment that they can imagine uh, when they come to our cloud native database system platforms. Right, okay. And so what areas are Alibaba Cloud exploring towards a future of, of database security? So one, one thing I can mention is we're building a, a always encrypted a database system, uh, meaning that data you mentioned when data at transmission and data at storage, they're encrypted. But in today's database system, when you uh, put data into your database kernel, when you need to analyze and process those data, you still need to decrypt those data. Because without the decryption key, uh, you don't know the value of this data. There's no way you can operate over this data. But we are building the next generation always encrypted database by integrating what we call TEE, Trusted Execution Environments. For example, using Intel SGX, Software Guarded Extension, so that whenever we need to process those encrypted data, we shuffle those encrypted data into TEE and do the analysis and management of those data over there in a secure hardware enclave, and then finish processing those and then return the results back. So at all time, database kernel always see encrypted data. At no time, we, the database kernel, need to have the secret key of uh, those data, so that data is 100% protected. In the extremely worst case, when your data is leaked for whatever reason, your database has been hacked or there is an insider attack, your DBA has taken your data away, those data are still encrypted. And without the leaking of secret key, uh, you can rest assured your data is never going to be uh, compromised. So that's a perfect example uh, uh, and the direction we are heading to. And on top of that, we are also building database system that support what we call MPC, multi-party multi computation. Mm -hmm. Meaning that there, there could be multiple parties involved in the ownership of your data in an analytical database, in a cloud native data warehouse. And they want to collectively compute something out of their data, but they don't want to share data values against each other. This is when MPC comes handy, multi-party computation that allows you to compute results collectively over data from multiple ownerships, but without revealing the exact data values to each other. So those are two directions I can highlight uh, right here. Great. 
Thank you very much. It looks like Alibaba is definitely focused on, on database and data security on the cloud. So, so thank you, uh, Feifei and, and Charlie, thank you very much for your time today. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a really great discussion. Um, I, I've learned a, a lot and I, I'm sure the people who are watching this have learned a lot as well. So, so thank you very much. Thank you, Milo. Um, Thanks, Feifei. Thank you, Milo, and thank you, Charlie. This has been a wonderful and exciting conversation. I learned a lot as well. I, I definitely learned mo more than both of you, but okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, I just want to say one thing to the audience. Uh, hey, guys, don't forget to catch the next episode of Digital Beats, where we'll discuss more trends in the cloud.